New Apollo humanoid AI robot slated to be the first commercially available humanoid robotics device in the world. Aptronic is a U.S.-based firm that develops multifunctional mobile robotic systems and has recently signed a deal with NASA to accelerate the commercialization process of its Apollo humanoid AI robot, which is slated to reach the consumer market before the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot next year. In contrast to special-purpose robots, which can only perform specific jobs, Apollo is a general-purpose humanoid AI robot that is capable of carrying out many tasks in highly dynamic environments. The robot has state-of-the-art actuation packed into a small form factor and can be put on any mobility platform, such as the company's Draco. It's designed to benefit people working in all industries from logistics and retail to hospitality and aerospace and more. The Apollo humanoid robot prototype is already complete and is expected to become commercially available in 2023. The first time NASA partnered with Aptronic was in 2013 for the DARPA Robotics Challenge, where the founders were picked to develop NASA's Valkyrie robot. The Valkyrie robot has 44 degrees of freedom and its joints have a series of elastic actuators. Aptronic is also the creator of a liquid-cooled, high-performance bipedal robotics platform called the Draco, which has 10 degrees of freedom. The Draco bipedal platform can be used as the legs for any of the humanoid robots produced by Aptronic, and they use Linux and robot operating system, called ROS, to provide open access to low-level control software and libraries. NASA has chosen Aptronic as its official commercial partner for the launch of an entirely new line of general-purpose humanoid robots that will begin with the Apollo. Aptronic says the Apollo humanoid robot is initially intended to be used as a tool for Earth and in orbit in space, but in the future, they aim to move far beyond to explore the universe too. Alongside the company's collaboration with NASA, Aptronic has also partnered with top automotive original equipment manufacturers, major transport and logistics companies, as well as multiple government agencies. Aptronic is known for its humanoid robotics designs that serve as beautiful and user-friendly devices, and they are now focusing on scaling the Apollo robot's production to prepare for its commercial release in 2023. New NVIDIA Artificial Intelligence Challenges DALI 2 from OpenAI and Stable Diffusion NVIDIA's eDiffy is a generative AI model that converts text to images and surpasses other models like DALI 2 from OpenAI and Stable Diffusion, according to NVIDIA. In the wake of various text-to-image AI models from OpenAI, Google, Midjourney, and Stability AI, NVIDIA has now released a competing model for text-to-image generation. The majority of text-to-image AI currently used diffusion-based models. These models perform image synthesis via an iterative denoising process. In this way, images are gradually generated from random noise. NVIDIA's eDiffy uses multiple denoiser experts. The machine learning AI models doing text-to-image usually train a single model to denoise the entire process. In contrast, NVIDIA's new eDiffy text-to-image AI model relies on a group of expert denoisers that are specialized in denoising at different intervals of the generative process. Based on NVIDIA's research, eDiffy achieves better results than DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion by using these various expert denoisers. For instance, eDiffy is better at producing text in images and more closely follows the requirements for the content of the text prompts in the examples provided by NVIDIA. NVIDIA's AI model is based on a mix with three models for diffusion, which include a base model that can synthesize images with a 64 by 64 pixel resolution and two super resolution models that gradually increase the resolution of images to 256 by 256 or 1024 by 1024 pixels. Models calculate T5 text embeddings as well as the normal embedding of images and clip text. T5 is Google's transformer neural network for text-to-text -text and complements clip embeddings. Combining both text embeddings produces more precise images that are more in line with the text prompt, according to the NVIDIA AI researchers. In addition to prompts for text, eDiffy can also process an image reference as input and utilize its style to perform image synthesis. NVIDIA also has a paint by writing feature, which allows the user to alter the location of the objects within the input text by drawing a sketch, and then select the words to write on the image. Currently, there is no paper that has been released yet by NVIDIA about eDiffy. 
However, the improvements made in the training pipeline may be utilized in the near future to develop new models for DALI and stable diffusion, where they could lead to major improvements in terms of quality and control of the image synthesis. New AI predicts the shape of 600 million proteins with 60 times the speed of DeepMind's AlphaFold. When DeepMind AI, a London-based artificial intelligence company, unveiled predicted structures for over 220 million proteins, it covered nearly every protein of known organisms recorded in DNA databases. Now, Meta AI claims it will be covering the dark matter of the protein universe. Researchers from Meta, formerly known as Facebook, have used machine learning AI to predict the structure of around 600 million proteins found in viruses, bacteria, and other microorganisms, which have not yet been identified. The deep learning neural network was infused with an understanding of the protein sequences containing information about their shapes. In a second step to generate predictions, which was inspired by DeepMind's pioneering protein structure predicting AlphaFold, these insights are combined with info about the relationships between known protein structures and sequences. Meta's neural network, named ESMFold, isn't as precise in its predictions as DeepMind's AlphaFold, but it's around 60 times faster in predicting structures for short sequences. This means researchers can expand structure prediction capabilities by using bigger databases. In a test, Meta AI researchers put their machine learning AI model to the test on using a metagenomic database, which is a collection of bulk sequenced DNA from various environmental sources like seawater, soil, the human gut, and human skin. The majority of resulting entries originate from single-cell organisms that have not yet been isolated or cultivated and are not known to scientists. In all, the meta ad team predicted the structure of over 617 million protein structures. The entire process took less than two months, while DeepMind's AlphaFold takes several minutes to make a single prediction. The machine learning AI model is free to use along with the protein structures it predicted. Out of the 617 million predicted structures, the artificial intelligence model deemed over one-third of these to be of high quality, which means researchers can be confident that the overall shape of the proteins is accurate and, in certain cases, they can even see their atomic-level features. Many of these structures are totally different from any of those found in the database of existing proteins that have been determined by experiments or AlphaFold's predictions. A large portion of the DeepMind AlphaFold database is composed of structures that are identical to one another, but metagenomic databases should encompass a substantial portion of the previously unknown universe of proteins. By the way, did you know deep learning AI engineers make an average salary of $144,000 per year with bonuses and benefits, all while working remotely? You could start learning for free today from world-famous deep learning AI researcher Andrew Ning, the co-founder of Google Brain, to work as a machine learning engineer from home. So get started for free today on Coursera.org with the link below to earn your deep learning AI specialization online at your own pace and join the AI industry where there is a massive shortage of talent that companies are battling for to hire. Click now and transform your income potential with the power of artificial intelligence.